this. It is a nasty rainy day, but it's gonna rain all day. And I just got off work, so I got about three hours before I gotta go get Nick. And I'm supposed to take him to get his hair fixed because they butchered it, so a lady said she'd fix it. He's okay with it now because he's been living with it, but I think I still want to get it fixed. Uh, there is a sale at Winco on some meat, so I think we're gonna go there. Hopefully we don't get, I just, oh, I want to do stuff. If I don't do it, I'm going to run out of time this weekend. I need to go look and see if something's still there for my son for his birthday. But I don't really want to get out right now and go do it. I just kind of want to go where I have to. So I think let's go to Winco and we might go to Walmart and see what kind of clearance they have. Maybe we'll go to Walmart first and then go to Winco and then go get Nick. Let's go do that. Hey y'all, Tammy here. How's everyone doing? I hope you're having an amazing day. Woo, I look uh, rough y'all, sorry. It has been raining, like pouring all morning. It just now stopped, but I think we have some more coming in. So I am waiting on Nick. I just thought we would chat a little bit. You might have seen a little bit of the rain in the beginning. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it. As I was leaving work, I'm like, hey, let's go do some stuff. So, the first stop was Walmart. I have the hiccups now, sorry. I did stop at Taco Casa. Oh, I got a couple tacos. I think Nick's friend is riding home, so I got him a couple tacos. So, the first stop was Walmart. I wanted to go in there and just do clearance shopping. Because y'all know I found a lot of clearance in there lately, which is unusual for my Walmart. I think my Walmart is, is average. I think there are definitely some that are better that have a lot of better product. I think it depends on what part of town you go into. Um, the, the one over in my mother's part of town, I love. I haven't gotten back over there yet. Um, mine, I feel like it's just average. There was a clearance aisle. I didn't see anything on it. But there's a couple things in there I'm going to show you. Um, so I'm going to let you watch that. So here is the few little things I found inside Walmart. Here you go. Okay, I didn't go through all of the Christmas stuff, but these are right up front. I thought these were absolutely adorable. Look at these little cookie jars or canisters at only $10.97. And then we have cute little measuring cups and measuring spoons. Look at that. And then down here, more little cookie jars and candy jars, snowmen, and just everybody. I thought these were adorable. And over here, now this is uh, clearance just on the regular aisle with, look, all of these lamps are on clearance. So if you need a lamp, you might want to go check out your Walmart. So all of these were on sale, and then they did have a few little decor pieces right here as well. I did see several like rollbacks, so they had these creamers on sale and also those immersion blenders. Have y'all seen these? Look at these, that little elf on the shelf dude has his own little Debbie looking snack cake looking things. Okay, y'all, these are so cute. Look at this, they were adorably soft, they have a hood. I don't know why I didn't buy one of these for me. And they do have the elastic, but it's not tight. They're 20 bucks. Look at the red and the white. They're super soft. I totally see myself putting that on at the end of the day or to hang around the house. See, they have some more clearance over here. This one is uh, the little buffalo check, but it is not as soft. And then they also have this kind of cranberry wine kind of color. So I thought these were super cute and I wanted to share those with you. Like I said, just a few little things. Um, I went in there. I needed a pillow for Nick, a bed pillow, because the dogs tore his up. So, we all locked him in the room for a whole day. Yeah. Um, sorry, I don't know what that is on my phone. Um, so, yeah, I picked that up. I got a couple of the sparkling waters. Um, I don't think that was really... Oh, I got some... Uh, craft paint because I'm going to be painting that big stand up sign that I bought that I got for 90% off at Tuesday morning that I told you I was ugly. Mm -hmm. So I think I am going to go ahead and do Christmas. I haven't exactly decided for sure, but I'm going to go start with just doing a white, just a standard white, and then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do on it. I have so many things saved on Pinterest. I just got to figure out what I'm going to do. So I just picked that up. Um, th the pajamas, the pajama pants were still on clearance. Um, they have uh, larger sizes. Uh, I think I have a 
picture that I might have put in there or I might put it in here and it's the little short sets um, so they're different characters different themes it's a t-shirt shorts and a pair of socks those are three dollars they had some bras and some like sports bras for five and six dollars that was really about it they did have some rollback prices um, just nothing jumped out at me today so not a lot there um, I know there are a lot of places that are starting their early like Christmas shopping so gonna be on the lookout for that um, I did go into Winco because they have chicken breasts for a dollar forty eight a pound which y'all know is a really good price because you can't find it normally under two ninety eight a pound now so I'm gonna get this up so if you guys see it you get over to Winco. Uh, I think the sale runs through what Tuesday. Um, and I also got they also had ground meat on sale, um, so I got some ground meat and I got uh, a roast because it was on sale as well. And um, but anyway, I've got a little in store grocery haul, so I'm gonna let you watch my Winco grocery haul. So hold please and watch that. Okay, you could not hear me in the store, so I apologize. So we're going to do just a little voiceover. I got some Little Debbie snack cakes. Look, I love these. But when did they only go down to only having five? Let me move this umbrella out of the way because it was dumping cats and dogs. I bought some meat. I bought a pot roast here. I thought that was a good price. And then I picked up about three packages of ground beef. So I stocked up, y'all, on the beef. I got these little quick steaks. We like making like our own little Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. They were like four bucks. And then y'all look at these boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Look at that, $1.48 a pound, $5.27. When have you seen that? It is Tuesday, y'all go out. You can still get them today. So I got some Cool Whip. I got some Hamburger Helper. I got some peanut butter. I got a can of biscuits. I got some fake cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> I got some pasta sauce. Um, I got a Dr. Pepper. I got some laundry detergent, another Dr. Pepper. Uh, I got a lot of these little seasoning packets. I got a ranch, a couple brown gravy a couple of Italian in there let me move some stuff around I got some tortellini I'm gonna do a pasta bake with that one night um, I got some cans there's a move stuff around I got Nick his pizza rolls because y'all know he's starving I got two cans of green beans and a can of corn see there's a the corn uh, and I got a couple cans of dog food and there's the other Italian dressing, and I got some sweet baby rays, and that's it for my grocery haul this time, y'all. Okay, so we're just gonna knock all this out today. Okay, so I took all that stuff home. It was dumping rain, uh, but I went ahead and got back out because I was gonna go get something to eat. Figure out what else I was gonna do. I have a car turned on. I kind of want to drive back on, turn the heater on. I don't know what the temperature is already. Um, Neutrogena. Now see, I went down the aisle with all the makeup and the beauty products and nothing was marked except this one little area and this was on it and it's Neutrogena Bright Boost. And you know, this is normally like $28. So I got it for $7. Um, because it said 75% off on this. So I couldn't pass that up. So it's this uh, Awakens 100% of Dull Skin Cells uh, for visibly refreshed, instantly bright skin. So I thought I would give that a try. So I opened it up. It smells really nice. It says it's a gel cream. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but it just looks like a cream to me. So it smells nice. That just looks like a normal cream, right? I'm going to turn it. It's gonna turn. I mean, it just... cream so yeah so I did put some on the back of my hand I don't know if you can tell probably not but it does feel nice I, I just threw out the little insert and just wasted some well, that was nice but 
We'll give it a try for seven bucks when it's normally 28. Absolutely. And now I just got some on something. So let me, maybe I can waste it. We will uh, do the decollete. Tell you, if there's one piece of advice to uh, the younger women, don't forget to moisturize your neck, okay? Because that's, that's that, 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 you know, gets wrinkles first. So I got that. And the only other thing I got in there, they had a lot of stuff that was already gone. It looks like the food went pretty quick. Um, the makeup, the cleaning products, um, the makeup, the cleaning products, and like the paper products, none of those appeared to be marked down. But I did get these. This is Lily's, and it is a sugar-free, um, it says less sugar sweet life, uh, stevia sweetened, no sugar added, and these are dark chocolate peanut butter cups, and what's cool is these come individually wrapped. So, these are a nice little sweet treat, um, and it is 140 calories for two of these, and, uh, do they taste just like Reese's? No. But, Will it cure your sweet craving if you're wanting something like a Reese cup? Yes. So, you don't get a ton, and they're overpriced. They're normally like $6 a bag, so I got it for $3 a bag. So, this is the way I'll buy it. So, I think that's really all I got today. Other than that, y'all, I just, um, whew, my car. I told y'all Nick named my car Sheila. So, Sheila needs, still, she still needs to go to the doctor. I'm still waiting on my husband to get a hold of that associate of his that works on cars. I told y'all that, there, right? Okay, so she broke down last week, last Friday, a week ago today, actually. Um, went out, we were running late as usual, because what does Tammy do? She runs late. Um, so we were running late as usual, ran out to the car, and it didn't want to start. Mm -hmm. Ended up working from home that day. Um, my son came over, got me jumped, and um, he was there with the babies. Um, my daughter-in-law took Nick to school. She had stuff to do. So we were going to jump the car, get it started, go get a battery, right? Um, we went to O'Reilly's, which is where my husband thought the battery was from, and they swear they couldn't find anything. And then he remembers that he had the same problem the last time that he went there. And so I think... They couldn't find it last time, and I think the guy got tired of arguing with my husband, and I think he just gave it to him under somebody else's phone number. I don't know. So, they swear they couldn't find it. Whatever. Uh, I didn't buy one from them because it was almost $200, so I went and got a battery from Walmart. But before we could go get the battery, when he got the car started, the car would not um, register any RPMs. The, the throttle was not working. Um, it's the craziest thing. My son, my oldest son sits here and he actually Googles it and he finds a kid that is talking about the same thing and it ends up being ground wire underneath this door. And the kid's like telling you the whole story. Like he replaced this sensor and then he replaced this sensor and you know, he spent $250 and you won't believe what it is. And the whole time my son is going, what is it? Hurry up, get to the point. <laughs> And it, yeah, it's a ground wire that there's like two bolts, so and two washers and two nuts, and there's a ground wire there. And he said, just take the bolts and nuts off, get a wire brush, scrub those real good, put them back on there, boom, it works. And sure enough, it did. We didn't have a ground wire. We had it's actually sitting over there. All I had was a sanding block that I had bought at Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah, that's what we used. And then we went and bought a wire brush. And he showed me where it is. Take a picture of it. So if it happens again, I know where it is, but did that so it worked so a new battery took care of the immediate problem but she's still got some problems and like i was telling y'all before um i'm just not at a point where i want to buy a new car right now you know it's not the market to buy a car right now cars are expensive and i'm just not really at a place um financially where i want to take on a car payment I want to have a sizable down payment. I mean, she's old, so I don't expect them to give me a lot of money for her. And my husband might even not want to trade her in. Might want to, you know, try to fix her to run a few more years. Maybe let Nick drive her. Nick actually loves this car, too. Um, I have a sentimental attachment to this car. We, we bought this car outright um, when it was two years old. Um, a little bit after Nick was born. So, we've had it that long. He was maybe almost two years old as well. Yeah, he, he was almost two years old as well. So, 
so yeah so we we bought that we bought her then so i love her and i enjoy driving her but i mean she's old and she does need um a new transmission or some transmission work or the exchange for the transmission something so um my son's friend is coming to the car so let me get off of here i think i'm gonna drop them, him off and then i'm taking nick to go get his hair fixed and i will chat with you some more then okay see you in a bit and after all of that, we did go by and get Nick's hair fixed. She did a pretty good job. 